Hello everyone. Welcome to UPSC Prelims Chaturya series of Shantalakshmi IAS Academy where we will discuss the possible prelims MCQs from the Hindu Indian Express as well as PIB. So today in this video we will discuss about the prelims MCQs dated 31st August 2023. So to begin with the first question is consider the following countries Congo Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon and Nigeria. The question is, how many of the above mentioned countries share a land border with Gabon? Only two, sorry, only one, only two, only three and all the four. So before answering the question, why this is in news? So the Europe, sorry, the Africa has been in conflict, right? By witnessing many coups. This time, the coup, another coup attempt has been up, happened in Africa in Gabon. That's why the question. Now, coming to the Gabon. Here it is Gabon. It is surrounded by Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon and the Republic of Congo. Coming to the question again. Nigeria is not. So, the answer is only 3. C is the correct answer. Coming to the Africa map total, here it is Gabon, Congo, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea and here it is Nigeria. It is not bordering with this Gabon. Moving to the second one, consider the following statements about Palau. It lies in the southwest corner of Micronesia in the Indian Ocean. It is the first country to ban sunscreen to protect the coral reefs. Which of the statements given above is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two. D, neither one nor two. So why this is in news? There is an article in the Indian Express. It said that United States has agreed a new pact with Palau over maritime security in the Pacific region. So that's why we are discussing about this Palau. About Palau, it is an island. Island country in the Micronesia subregion of Oceania in the Western Pacific. And in the year 2020, it banned the use of sunscreen to protect its coral reefs. This Palau is, is rich with coral reefs. So in 2020, it banned the use of sunscreens around the areas or in the country to protect the coral reefs because the element composition of the sunscreen is threatening the coral reefs. And coming to the question, it lies in the southwest corner of Micronesia in the north. It is not in the Indian Ocean. It is in the Pacific Ocean. So only two is the correct answer. And this Palau lies in the Micronesia region and in the Western Pacific Ocean, there are Pacific Island countries. 14 Pacific Island countries divided in these three sub-regions. What are those three sub-regions? Melanesia, Micronesia and Polynesia. This Palau belongs to this Micronesia. And what are those 14 Pacific Island countries? These are Palau. Federated States of Micronesia, Marshall Islands, Papua New Guinea, Nauru, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Samoa, Cook Islands, Niu, Tonga and Fiji Islands. These are the 14 islands of the Pacific, Western Pacific region. And any news related to these 14 Pacific Island countries are very, very important. And moving to the third question, consider the following statements about Kaveri River. First statement it is it rises at Trayambakeshwar Nasik in Maharashtra. The second one is Krishna Raja Sagar Dam is located on it. And the third one is Hemavati, Khabini, and Subarnavati are its tributaries. How many of the above given statements are correct? Only one, only two, all the three, and none. So the answer is only two. B is the correct answer. It not rises in Trayambakeshwar. It is with respect to Godavari. Godavari river 
rises in Prayambakeshwar in Nasik, Maharashtra. And coming to the Kaveri, it rises at Tala Kaveri on the Brahmagiri range near this Cherangala village of Kodago district of Karnataka. And some basic facts that it is also known as Dakshin Ganga or the Ganga of the South. Its elevation is or its total length is 800 kilometers from the origin to outfall. The Kaveri drainage basin extends to Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and the Puducherry. And coming to its tributaries, its left bank tributaries are Harangi, Hemavati, Shimsha and Arkavati. And its right bank tributaries are Lakshmana Tirtha, Kabini or Kabhani, Suvarnavati, Bhavani, Noil and Amravati. And coming to the projects on this Kaveri River, these are Krishnaraja Sagar Dam in Karnataka, Meghadattu, Mettur Dam and Kaveri Delta in this Tamil Nadu. So why this is in news? This regarding this tussle between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu regarding this Kaveri water, this Kaveri Water Management Authority started releasing water. And it was the first from this Krishna Raja Sagar Reservoir. And coming to the fourth question, red sand boa recently seen in news is a bird, reptile, frog or a fossil. It is a reptile. It is a snake. So answer B is the correct answer. Now why we are discussing this? Because there is an article in Hindu. That is a report by the Wildlife Conservation Society. There was a report by Wildlife Conservation Society. It has, the report has titled this Illegal Trade of Red Sand Bow in India 2016 to 2021. It said that there is so much of illegal trade of this species, this red sand snake. Around 157, this Around 157 snakes are illegally traded from India. So that's why this is in news. Coming to the red sand boa, it is also known as Indian sand boa. It is a non-venomous species. See here, it is a non-venomous species found throughout the dry parts of the Indian subcontinent. Wildlife Protection Act, it is protected under the Schedule 4 and Appendix 2 under sites. And its IUCN status is near threatened. Just remember the name Indian sand boa or red sand boa means a snake, a reptile. And coming to the fifth question, consider the following statements. Statement one is according to the state of food security and nutrition in the world, Sophie. 2023 report, the cost of a healthy diet has increased in Recent years in India, it is still the lowest among the BRIC nations and India's neighbors. In the statement two is, in India, 74% were not able to afford a healthy diet. Which one of the following is current in respect of the above statements? Both statement one and two correct and statement two is the correct explanation of statement one. Both statement 1 and 2 are correct. Statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect. Statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct. The correct answer is both. Statement 1 and 2 are correct and this is the correct explanation of this one. First statement. So now coming to the news article why we are discussing means there is a news article related to this report in the Hindu paper. This state of food security and nutrition in the world 2023 was released in the July month and it said that the cost of a healthy diet has increased in recent years in India but it is still low. It is still lowest among BRIC nations and India's neighbors but however the India features at the bottom of that list since income levels are stagnant or going down. But however, the share of people who are able to afford such healthy diet is still low. See, here the statement is telling that the cost of healthy diet has increased in recent years in India. But it is low compared to the BRICS nations. And the second statement, it is telling that 
the share of people who are able to afford such a healthy diet is still low and it has given the chart 1 and 2 let us see this chart and how it measures this cost of the healthy diet it is arrived at by looking at the cheapest local food items that meet dietary guidelines to check if the diet is affordable its cost is compared to the average income in each country if the diet is considered too expensive it it cost more than 52% of this country's natural national average see how the cost of a diet is measured it is measured by using this country's national average if the diet is more expensive it cost more than 52% of this average income of the country and this chart one shows the cost of healthy diet in terms of ppp purchasing power parity dollars per person per day this is for the year 2021 and it said that the healthy diet in india cost 3.06 ppp dollars per person per day the lowest among the countries see here india places lowest and the second chart shows the share of population that is unable to afford a healthy diet in 2021 in india for instance there is 74% who were not able to afford a healthy diet the fourth highest share among the nations considered here it is the fourth highest and there are 74% of people in india do not afford a healthy diet and coming to the chart 3 it mentioned the cost of a healthy diet across the regions and re regarding this chart it said that the expense of maintaining a healthy diet in, in increased almost 9% in asia it is highest among the regions and chart 4 says that the change in the number of people who were unable to afford a healthy diet it said that asia followed africa recorded the highest growth in the number of people who could not afford a healthy diet see in asia there is highest number of people who cana who could not afford a healthy diet so here it is still the lowest among the cost of a healthy diet has increased in recent years in india but compared to the brics nations it is low and in india 74% were not able to afford a healthy diet according to this report now let us come to coming to the details of this report state of food security and nutrition in the world report it is an annual flagship report jointly released by the fao united nations food and agricultural organization and the ifad international fund for agricultural development and unicef and world food program and also the world health organization so these five institutions or organization jointly release the state of food security and nutrition in the world report what it does it aims to inform on progress towards ending hunger achieving food security and improving nutrition and also to provide in depth analysis of key challenges for achieving this goal in the context of sustainable development targets and moving to the sixth question swedish kbs3 concept recently seen in news is related to a nuclear waste b plastic pollution artificial intelligence and data privacy the answer here is a the swedish kbs3 concept is related to this nuclear waste management coming to the news article there is a news article regarding this in the hindu so recently we have witnessed this right japan has started releasing the treated radioactive water from the fukushima nuclear power plant into the ocean see the world is going towards the clean energy instead of this carbon based fossil fuels right but here the japan has released this radioactive water from the fukushima nuclear plant into ocean which is a concern right it may pollute the ocean water and it also impact the marine life 
so in this context only this article this article has come see the fact here currently 10% of the world's electricity comes from this nuclear energy it includes us india and china so the world is moving towards the clean energy by using the nuclear fuel but there are also some challenges with respect to this nuclear energy what's the challenge the biggest challenge is that how the facility will store and dispose of nuclear waste in a safe and controlled manner that's okay we are using the nuclear energy by in order to promote the clean clean technology and clean earth but what about this nuclear waste regarding this only the article has come and there are temporary and permanent measures also the temporary options include storing spent fuel in pools until they cool and in dry cask and burying them in near surface disposal facilities at ground level or below and this can be used for low level waste but high level waste also has few options that is deep geological disposal this disposal in the geology in the deep part of the earth and here finland comes the way because the finland is the the finland will become the first to realize this option when the onkalo repository opens in 2025 this finland is experimenting the to store the nuclear waste in this geological part of the earth and here it is mentioned this finland uses this swedish kbs3 concept now we'll see that what is this swedish kbs3 concept this is the technology for disposal of high level radioactive waste see it is for high level radioactive waste for low level radioactive waste they can be stored in storing spent fuel in pools until they cool in dry cask and bury them in near surface disposal facilities at ground this is for low level radioactive waste and this kbs3 is for high level radioactive waste is developed in sweden this technology is developed by studying different natural storage facilities such as the natural reactor in oklo geban and the uranium mine in sigar lake of canada and this disposal method consists of the following steps the first one is the waste is first stored in the intermediate storage for 3 years the nuclear waste first stored in the intermediate storage for 30 years sorry 30 years then the waste is encapsulated in cast iron canisters first stored in the 30 years then the waste should be en encapsulated in this cast iron canisters and this cast iron canisters are also encapsulated in copper capsules then the ca this copper capsules are deposited in a layer of bentonite clay which has more absorbing capacity in a circular hole 8 meters deep and with a diameter of 2 meters drilled in a tunnel 500 meters down into this crystalline rocks after the storage facility is full the drill hole is sealed and the site is marked it is for heavy or high level radioactive waste first the waste is stored for 30 years then encapsulated in this iron canisters then in copper capsules then this copper capsules will be deposited in a bentonite clay and can be stored in the ground next one sancha sathi portal is related to mobile connection skill development senior citizens and unorganized workers the correct answer is mobile connections and why we are discussing this there is a news article in the text and context related to this sanchar sathi portal and coming to the portal this portal aims to provide various reforms and services related to mobile connections and telecommunication who developed this by c dot under the department of telecommunications why to prevent fraud such as identity theft forged kyc and banking frauds etc the portal allows the mobile users to check the connections registered in the names and also to report the fraudulent or unrequired connections and also block the mobile phones which are stolen or when lost 
and check IMEA 10 units before buying a mobile phone. The portal aims to ensure transparency, security and accountability in the telecom sector. So the Sanchar Sati portal is related to this mobile connections. And coming to the senior citizens, the, the portal related to senior citizens are sacred portal or sage portal. And coming for this unorganized workers, it is eShram portal. And coming to the eighth question, that is Kachativo Island recently in news belongs to India, Sri Lanka, China and Japan. Everyone know this, this answer. This is Sri Lanka. So why it is in news? Because in Hindu article, there is an opinion based article that is peril on the high seas. The debate on Kachativo is likely to turn intense before this general election. And coming to this Kachativo Island, it is an uninhabited offshore island in the Park Strait located between Nedentivu, Sri Lanka and Rameshwaram in India. It is formed due to the volcanic eruptions in the 14th century. This is a 285 acre land which was jointly administered by India and Sri Lanka during this British rule. The Raja of Ramnath owned this Kachativo Island at this time and later became the part of Madras presidency. But in the year 1921, both Sri Lanka and India claimed this piece of land for fishing and there arose a dispute which remained unsettled. After independence in the year 1974, our then, then Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, accepted Kachativo as Sri Lankan area. Under which agreement? Indo-Sri Lankan Maritime Agreement, which was aimed at resolving the maritime boundaries in the Park Strait. And another agreement was signed in 1976, which restricted both the country's fishermen from fishing in this, this area. So now, currently, this Kachativu Island belongs to Sri Lanka. And recently, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister has been requesting the Prime Minister to raise the issue to again take back this Kachativu Island in order to support the fisherman of Tamil Nadu. Next one. In the recent years, Chad, Guinea, Mali and Sudan caught the international attention for which one of the following reasons common to all of them. Discovery of rich deposits of rare earth metals, establishment of Chinese military bases, southward expansion of Sahara Desert and D is successful coups. The answer is D. It is the 2023 UPSC prelims question. See, in the recent years, Africa is becoming more politically unstable due to these coups. So, you need to be very important and very, you need to be very cautious where, whenever any news related to Africa. So, that's all for today. Thank you.